Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. If then you were raised with Christ, seek what is above, where Christ is seated at the right hand of God. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. There was a Pharisee named Nicodemus, a ruler of the Jews. He came to Jesus at night and said to him, Rabbi, we know that you are a teacher who has come from God, for no one can do these signs that you are doing unless God is with him. Jesus answered and said to him, Amen, amen, I say to you, unless one is born from above, he cannot see the kingdom of God. Nicodemus said to him, How can a man once grown old be born again? Surely he cannot re-enter his mother's womb and be born again, can he? Jesus answered, Amen, amen, I say to you, unless one is born of water and the Spirit, he cannot enter the kingdom of God. What is born of flesh is flesh, and what is born of spirit is spirit. Do not be amazed that I have told you, you must be born from above. The wind blows where it wills, and you can hear the sound that it makes, and you do not, but you do not know where it comes from or where it goes. So it is with everyone who is born of the Spirit. The Gospel of the Lord. All of us have been filled with the Holy Spirit, uh, first through our sacrament of baptism and then a new outpouring of it through our confirmation. Um, And much like the apostles in in our first reading, um, we're called to live our life of faith with boldness, um, as it says a couple times in in our first reading, that the apostles went out proclaiming the word of God with boldness. Um, And it's the Holy Spirit that enables us to, to do that. Um, a lot of times the ways that God works um, in our life is that um, he provides the grace for us to do something as the moment arises. Uh, and that can often be a place where we uh, maybe tremble in fear before the thought of, of having to do something boldly or, or courageously um, because we know in the moment that we don't have the grace, um, but we can count on the grace to be there when the moment arises. Um, This is what's called the actual grace, those moments in our life where God blesses us with the strength that we need to carry out the task at hand. Um, He doesn't give it to us before we do it, but he gives it to us in the moment that we do it. Um, And as we grow in confidence in that, um, then we can go out and proclaim the word of God with boldness. Um, That we, uh, you have to try it to experience it, right? Um, That as we, go out and do something that God asks us to do, we sense the grace that he provides and the strength that he does um, with it. And as that continues to build, we grow in confidence that every time that he calls us to do something, that grace is going to be there. Uh, And that's what enables us to uh, proclaim the word of God with with boldness, um, confident that the grace that God um, will give um, will be sufficient for, for what we need for the task at hand. Uh, and confident that he will never fail to give that grace. Let us now 